Hello guys, hope you're well. If not, you will be after watching this video. That's because I'm about to show you how to get legendary gear in Cyberpunk 2077 for free. You'll see where to find legendary weapons, armor, cyberware, and more easily. You don't have to be a high level or reach a certain point in the game. All you have to do is walk up to places I show you, grab the legendary loot, and stuff it in your backpack. No one cares. If they do, you're too powerful to stop anyway. This is, without a doubt, the fastest way to get the best stuff in the game. We're talking legendary things you can put on yourself, legendary things you can put in yourself, and legendary things you can hold in your hands. In short, I've got a list of 15 top tier stuff you can get right away. Watching this video is the fastest way to become a head to toe legend in Night City. Even Keanu will be impressed by you. And that's hard to do. Give him a hug. Yeah, close enough. So guys, if that sounds like a good thing to you, drop me a quick like. That's always much appreciated. And we'll get right into it. This is how to find legendary weapons, armor, cyberware, and more in Cyberpunk 2077. The free. Right then, legendary stuff in Cyberpunk 2077. We'll start with a very exciting one, which is located here. I absolutely love this. It's an incredible piece of cyberware. For those who don't know, that's basically an item you add to your body to augment your abilities. So go into this compound, making sure to avoid the enemy station here, unless you want a scrap. Then walk round to the left. We're looking for a hackable garage door. Use your hacker vision and hack the garage door in question. Inside is the amazing mono wire, which is essentially a laser whip. To put it on your character, you first have to visit a ripper dock. Luckily, there are loads of these shady characters around. There we go. Now, let's have a look at it in action. I mean, you can't garrot with it like a few Agent 47, which is a shame, but you can unleash some terrible pain. Didn't even mean that to rhyme. <laughs> if you want to be above the law and get instant fear and respect, get yourself a mono wire. Oh no. Maybe not that much respect. Okay, on to the second Cyberpunk 2077 legendary. It's here in the Kabuki district of Watson, among some shipping containers populated by a few rough customers who you'll need to dispatch, you'll find a legendary battery. This has amazing regenerative effects. It fully restores your stamina upon defeating an enemy. This makes it a great option if you're a melee focused character. Just swing away with your baseball bat or machete or, you know, arm blades and as long as you kill who you're hitting you won't ever get tired okay now to make our daring escape oh god sorry Number three, this is a sturdy piece of legendary clothing. It's got the most armor on the entire list. Found in Coast View Pacifica, it's an easy one to get to. Just a short drive along the motorway with the inevitable crash, of course, and a dip into this bit here. Go through the hole in the fence, up the stairs on the right, clear the boxes with some jumping, and you'll see this grisly scene. Guess their fans didn't really like the set. In any case, loot the lead singer for the item you came here for. The reinforced seam cotton rocker tank. It's got a massive 70.7 armor. Doesn't seem to have helped this guy though, but you, what you know, I don't, whatever. It also reduces stamina consumption when blocking and reduces damage from negative status effects by 5%. Encore. Oh wait. They're dead. Number four. This is a legendary weapon spec located here. Again, in the Kabuki district of Watson. Now, accessing it is a little tricky. That's because it's not on the ground, but a few stories above it. It's always hard to tell on the map, especially given Cyberpunk's verticality. Just make sure to find these stairs here. Go up them and enter this sort of punk enclave at the top. through
and after a few yards, you'll reach this chest here. Crack it open and bask in the warm glow of your newly acquired sniper rifle schematic. It's called the Ashura, and it's a smart sniper rifle. That means the bullets home in on targets. You will need to install Smart Link Cyberware to do so, as well as the Edge Runner Artisan perk to craft legendary items. But when you do, you will have a powerful sniper rifle capable of a huge base DPS of 94.6. Number five, it's pants. And not just any pants, but pants that make you run faster. The location of this legendary garment is here, in a sort of industrial zone right on the edge of town. And some suspicious stuff has gone down here. It looks like some kind of gang shootout. Very no country for old men. Bad news for the gang, but great for us. Walk up to this body here and loot them for some legendary pants and some other general goodies. Check out that pants stat though. These pants are very useful indeed. Not only for the armor they give you and the 5% reduction in full damage, but the 10% boost to your running speed. Here's what running looks like with the pants on, very swift, and here's what it looks like with the regular pants. Slightly less swift. And that was my review of the pants. You can actually loot other good stuff from this site, like this Sidewinder Smart Weapon. Here's a look at that. And this car. Yes, you get a free car. Sadly, you can't save it. So if you want to hold on to it, make sure to keep it with you and not to crash it like that. Number six, and another legendary weapon spec. You'll find it tucked away on the rooftop of the Afterlife nightclub, a place you've almost certainly been to before. Instead of going to the bar area like you normally do, take a right and use the lift. Go up to the top floor because that's where our weapon spec is. There it is. You can't hide from us. Now, there's a tricky bit of jumping involved here, so make sure to bring some of those health inhaler things with you. What you're gonna do is jump on a vent and then jump up to this barbed wire. It can be tough to get the right angle, and I fell off more times than I care to mention, but eventually you'll reach the far platform, and your reward is a legendary crafting spec. This is the Achilles Tech Precision Rifle, 160.3 DPS and chargeable burst shots. No footage of it in action though, because I'm not high leveled enough to use it. I've been spending my time jumping on barbed wire. Annoying. Seven on the list and we're off to Jig Jig Street. I've seen it called Jig Jog Street and even Jiggly Street, but it most definitely is Jig Jig Street. Look for the male joy toy, represented by a heart icon, and then walk to the alley to the right. Climb the dumpsters, they're pretty easy to mantle up, even without upgrades, and then keep climbing up this alleyway. When you get to the yellow ladder, you're almost there. At the top is a shack. Inside this shack, you'll find a dead body. That's who we're looking for. Loot the poor unfortunate soul and you'll discover protective layer fixer pants. That's a legendary. Does it go with our aesthetic? Not at all. But are we going to wear it? Also no. On to number eight. You'll find the legendary item in question right here. Now, again, this is a tricky part of town to get to. Around here, there are walkways and levels stacked on top of each other. So look for this arch. It's not on the ground floor, but the floor above it. Go around the back of the food stall and you'll see a box. Open the box and you'll get a lovely pair of gold-tipped manganese steel solo boots. And also, everything falls over when you loot them for some reason. But it doesn't matter, we've got our boots. Let's have a look at the stats. Yep, as I suspected, it's legendary. I can tell that by the way it says legendary. So what do these guys think of our boots? If I can read humans correctly, and I can, I'd say they're absolutely loving it. Okay, ninth on the list. It's Watson, it's Kabuki, and it's a legendary item of clothing. You can't have enough legendary clothes in this game. First, go up the stairs on the roadside and follow the raised walkway. Climb the second set of stairs at the end and then the third. Up here is our man, sadly only in spirits. Pay your respects by stealing his duo layer polyamide rocker vest. 
46.5 armor, 8 damage reduction over time. It's what he would have wanted. Up to number 10, and we are once again driving to a shady part of town to scavenge from dead bodies. The future really is quite bleak, isn't it? Anyway, drive up and park outside this tasteful neon sign. Climb up the ledge and look for the dead body with the red indicator over it. You know what that means? Yep, another legendary. It's a corporate blazer with bulletproof lining and five explosive damage reduction. The nearby smokestacks adds to the quality. It's our 11th entry and possibly the most morbid legendary location yet. You'll see what I mean. Go to Watson in Little China and look for these two kids here who are throwing stones at a dead body. Well, kids will be kids. Don't let that stop you grabbing the legendary gear though. And yep, it's anti-puncture neotac pants with composite lining. Just as I suspected. On to number 12 and I'm gonna make these a bit quicker now. Simply head here. Not on the building Building, but just behind it. Get on the raised walkway, be careful as there's a gang prowling about, and loot the body. Okay, okay, to be fair, this is an epic item, not a legendary, but I'll make it up to you with the last entry, which is a doubly as good as two legendaries. Trust me, you're gonna wanna stick around for entry 15. 13, and let's speed things up a little. Legendary upgrade components, my favorite. 14, and this one is slightly different. And here's why. I got this from a Reddit user called Iron Daenerys. So, shout out to Iron Daenerys. But in the end, I couldn't find the item. It's a legendary baseball bat, and it's meant to be located here. But after about half an hour of searching, nothing turned up. So guys, have a hunt around, and let me know in the comments if you find it. We want that baseball bat. And here we go, the 15th and final entry, and it's my absolute favorite. It's the Mantis Blades. They're located on a side Cyber Psycho. Highly dangerous. Now I recommend saving before you do this because that guy does not mess around. You don't have to fight him. Just look to the right and grab the Mantis Blades from the chest. Then run like hell. After that, visit a Ripper Dock and get your blades grafted on. Celebrate by high-fiving everyone. Take so that was my guide to getting 15 legendary items in Cyberpunk 2077. I hope you found it useful guys. If you did, leave a like on the video. And let me know in the comments what legendary item you're going after first. And remember, for more Cyberpunk 2077 guides, subscribe to my channel, Gaming with Griff Griffin.